Hey guys, Dan here. Welcome to this video. Sorry that it's been a bit quiet here on this channel. I've been busy with real life a little bit in the last weeks. Uh, but today we're talking about the new F1 2021 game. And just a quick video to show you how you can uh, make this run on triples without using Nvidia Surround if you can't use it like me. It's actually relatively easy. All you need to do is um, you go to your documents folder, then to my games. And then there's a folder called F1 2021. You want to go into hardware settings and then you will have this file here. Don't be irritated by this. I created that to show you uh, the 1080p configuration later. But just open this with a text editor of your choice, whether it's just the Windows Notepad or something like Visual Studio Code or something. And then there are basically five things you need to change. There is the resolution width. Wait, can I make this bigger? I can. Better for the video. The resolution width is like the, your uh, horizontal resolution of the triples. So for 1440p triples, that would be 7680. Height is 1440p. So uh, just put these two numbers in here. Display mode needs to be zero. That is windowed. It did not work for me with windowed borderless, but it's not really a big problem because we're going to adjust the windows position so that we don't see the border. So it looks like windowed borderless. And to do this, if your main monitor is the center monitor, you need to offset it by your horizontal resolution to the left. So for 1440p, that would be uh, 2560. And then you need to add eight to that to hide the window border. So 2568 here. And then for the Y window position, you just use minus 31. And with this, the game will start in windowed mode, stretched to all three monitors, and you can play with uh, with triples. Uh, for 1080p, basically same thing, just different numbers. Your horizontal resolution will be 5760, height 1080, and then the window position, like I said, offset by one screen, if this is your center screen in the middle, uh, 1920 plus eight, so offset it by minus 1928, and the Y position will remain the same because uh, the window border is independent of the resolution. And if you set it up like this, you can just start the game as usual, and it will boot up on, yes, Steam. What? Okay, great. There we go. As you can see, uh, well, you can't really see it. You can see my center screen from the capture, but here you see the right screen. Wait, is there actually like any content in the menu displayed here? I don't think so. No, there isn't. Let's just quickly hop into a time trial session. And the loading times of this game, I wish iRacing had loading times like this, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we can still dream, right? Um, and as you can see, it displays on the right screen as well and the left screen and yeah, works just fine. Unfortunately, F1 game, it's it does not really have proper triple support. So you can stretch it onto all the three screens, but you cannot adjust the angle. Yeah, everything looks faster than it would if you had an appropriate FOV here on the side. But I think it's better than nothing, better to play than to play on one screen. And since most people use that weird third person view, I think uh, it's not that important there with the FOV and cockpit view. It's a little bit distracting, but you get used to it rather quickly. But yeah, that's actually it for this video. So uh, try it out. Let me know in the comments down below if it works for you. If you have any other game, maybe like from the racing genre where you struggle with triple screen without surround, let me know. Maybe I can figure out a way. So far, I think I made every game except Race Room. Race Room is like giving me some, some headache there. I know there are workarounds. They don't work for me though, but yeah. If you have anything, leave it in the comments down below. I'll try to figure it out and make a video about it. But yeah, that's it. Uh, maybe consider subscribing to the channel, like the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.